So Malawi is one of the Africa's poorest countries. It used to have one of the highest child mortality rates in Africa. And when you think about Malawi, when you travel there, you have to realize it's one of the poorest countries in Africa in terms of GDP per person. But it's also one of the few countries in Africa that's on track to meet the UN Millennium Development Goal, which is to reduce child mortality by two thirds by 2015. So when you look back a little bit and say, well, where was Malawi in 1960? Back then, they had 350 child deaths per every thousand live births. In 2000, they were down to 189 deaths per thousand live births. And in 2008, they're now down to 100 deaths per thousand live births. Now that's still too many, but this is a country that is systematically bringing down those deaths. And when I went there, it was really to see, well, how is it that they do that? And what I found was that the vision and the dedication of the country's top leadership has been absolutely instrumental in terms of making success in this area. So the country, one of the commitments that they've made is to build out this cadre of frontline workers. They call them in their country health surveillance assistants. So every month, these 11,000 health surveillance assistants spend three weeks out in the villages talking with the villagers, providing basic vaccinations and medicines. And then one week a month, they actually come back into the rural health clinic. And this is how they hook up the village with the rural health clinic. And they make sure that the vaccinations happen, not just at the village level, but all the way back through the system. I also visited uh, one of the cities there, Doha, and there the women are going into the facilities just as the government has told them. And in fact, the women are going up to four weeks ahead of the birth of their baby. And that's really important because they're then avoiding these birth complications that might happen to them out in the village or on the road. So I met about 40 women who were waiting at the Doha District Hospital. And it was so interesting to talk to these women because they are such palpable evidence of the real impact these changes are having. And I literally saw mothers and babies that would not have been alive today if it weren't for the improvements that Malawi is making in these areas. I talked to one mother who uh, had a breech baby. If she'd been in the village or on the road, she would not be alive. The other thing that I saw in Doha were two babies lying side by side in a, on a warming table, an incubator. And one of the babies was taking literally its first gasp for breath. But laying next to it was another baby that we think had been born three hours earlier. The mom was on the road, on the way to the health clinic, and that baby also had birth asphyxia, and that baby was pale and limp, and the doctors were telling me it wasn't going to live out to see the day. And right there in front of me, I could see what's possible when you get women to a health care facility versus you don't. So I was really impressed with Malawi's ability to provide a continuum of care, all the way starting at the community level, knowing they need to get the women transported to the health facility, to then what I saw in the health facility when the mom arrives, they start to educate her about the birth, they start to educate her about nutrition, and then she gives birth and they continue to talk to her about keeping the baby warm and breastfeeding. That continuum of care, the fact that it can work in a resource poor place like Malawi, means that it can work anywhere.